Welcome to part 16 of Life is Strange. And we're waking up on the floor after getting the shit kicked out of us by Damon Merrick. The last time we saw Damon, he was fighting with Frank. Frank was bashed up. Sarah? And Sarah was drugged. So we don't know what happened. Chloe Price. She looks like she's okay. Okay, so if you don't remember, Chloe came in to give Damon money so that he would let Sarah go because Rachel wants to meet Sarah, obviously because it's her mum. Now, Damon took the money, beat the shit out of us. Frank came in all injured from when he obviously fought Damon before and fought Damon again to save me. But before Damon did all that, he injected Sarah with drugs because she's been clean for a year. So she's got her first hit in a hot mini. So we're just seeing now. Where's Frank? I gotta ask what happened to Frank. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. What? You don't need to worry about them right now. Fucked him up, man. Sit. Oh, sit. She's a lap dog. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Know about what? I don't even know what she took, what, that she took a hit? I mean, it wasn't her fault. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did, hiring that thug. Shooting me up with he's a piece of shit, and I promise that Rachel can never know That's bullshit she should know <sighs> Tell me why tell me why doesn't she deserve to know what her father did No Rachel deserves a loving father a father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. But you banged him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Oh, right, I get it. <sighs> I'm not good with moral conundrums. She deserves to meet you, though. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. She reminds me Why of Sarah Connor. All this? The way because she's talking. James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. The I'm cigarette broken. isn't burning. Hmm. Everybody's broken in some way. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. Hmm. Do I go with the dead dad? Or do I go with the best friend that moved away? The best friend that moved away is going to come back. But I don't know it yet. Hmm. I lost my father two years ago. How? She doesn't look impressed. Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. Came over that quickly, honestly. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. Um, no more I think sadness. that's heroin. No more grief. Are people going to laugh at me, maybe? Why would anyone not want to feel that way? I just... Ever. I don't know drugs well enough to know what ones you can put in a needle and what ones you can't. Maybe you can put everything in a needle. I don't know. I really don't know. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat, you beat it again. Beat it again. Yes. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much... Especially in her She's arm when she so got stabbed. Strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Sometimes perfect isn't perfect. You know what I mean? A little bit of imperfection can be perfection. It's true. Uh, they're far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. I don't fucking know which one to go with. Let's not bring my dad into it. Even without all this shit. The Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... And Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? That makes sense, You've though. lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Remember your letter. I don't even remember the fucking letter. Can I look? Wait, I can look at the letter. I can look at the fucking pictures. A lot of pages on Max. Uh, nope. I'm gonna, I don't remember the letter, so let's do that one. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. No. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's no one choices. thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Okay, but the way I see it is... Let me give her the father she deserves. Why can't they keep their the mouth shut? who raised her. And just let them meet once and say, Hey, I'm leaving now. The Stay with your dad. Who I'm not interested. Her more than anything. At least You meet. can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Fucking hell, man. Why do you gotta make me make these decisions? So please, 
Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Well, that second one's not true. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Well, that was probably the wrong choice. I don't know what to tell her now. They're going to make me go back to the hospital and talk to Rachel, and I don't know what to say. I think this is going to be the last episode. We're in front of Rachel's room, of course. I'm going to sit down, Ginger. He's like, what's wrong? Damien Merritt kicked me in the ribs 17 times. Oh, of course, they're both going to be doting on her. Now I can't tell her shit. But her dad tried to have her mum killed. Hello? Executed. I should tell her. Okay. Rachel's just fallen asleep. But then she'll hate her dad. No, she already knows it's not her real mum. And then maybe go searching for her mum. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe alone for a minute? Them spotted pajamas, though. Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. Fuck off, James. I've heard that all too many times. <laughs> How are you feeling? Like you've been stabbed. Like I got stabbed. <laughs> oh! Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Mm. Fuck yeah. Aggressive, but okay. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Oh no. What do I say? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Every part of me is saying tell the truth, but another part of me is wanting to protect her. Sometimes to protect someone, but then shouldn't she know the truth? So she has, she has the right to make up her own mind, not for me to make it up for her, right? Because essentially, if I tell her nothing, like her mum said, it's then her mum who made the decision for her. Where if she knows all the facts, she can make her own decision. Then she. I don't know. I really don't freaking know. Oh, you know what? I think if you're in a real relationship with somebody and you love them, you always tell the truth. You always tell the truth. And telling the truth should be easy. So. I'm telling her everything. I was going to protect her. She 
just not impressed. Do I regret my decision? Maybe. What did Frank do to Damon? Did he fucking kill him? <gasps> he shanked him. A little pumpadoo on the floor there. Oh, there's a grave in the background with a shovel in it. You see it? Oh. He's pouring one out for Damon. He fucking killed him. Oh, David, you prick. I mean, hey, David. <laughs> no, I mean, we already knew this, but fuck you, David. Fuck you. I don't know why I have this hatred for David, you know? You ever watch the movie Twister? And Bill Paxton's wife or fiance in that, Melissa. Go back and watch that movie. She's not a bad person. She's fucking actually a great person. But in that movie, you can't stand her because you want him to be with Helen Hunt. Why does your fucking brain do that? That's what my brain's doing with David. I played Life is Strange, which is after this. And he's not actually bad. He's weird, but he's not a bad guy. But I straight up don't like you. Like my initial response when David's there, I'm like, fuck you, David. She loves Nathan. Just hook up already. This is before Nathan was a dick. You douche canoe. Victoria. Victoria gets her uh, comeuppance. But look at the smile on her face. Because you want to know why? She knows she can trust me. <laughs> she knows she can trust me. And that is better than anything. Why protect her and let her live with someone that she really shouldn't be trusting? She knows. She knows. Life is Strange played down the relationship a little bit. Like, she was upset that Rachel was gone, but look how much she loves Rachel. And in Life is Strange, she's she he's glad to have Max back, but she's... She's kind of... I think she was maybe living in hope that she was still alive. Oh, complete blue hair now. Ah, there it is. That's the Chloe that I know. I suppose she was living in hope that Chloe was still alive. Uh, that Rachel was still alive. Maybe. Maybe Rachel is still alive if you haven't watched it yet. Go and watch it. I played it. She 
She's a lefty. That's her stab bomb. Fuck, oh, be careful. Shit. These girls definitely aren't eating enough food. Jeez. I'm pretty sure my arm is thicker than her leg. I don't hate that ending. Because she now has the choice to find her mother. She now knows that her mother wanted to be with her. And she can now spend time with the one person who she knows, she knows she can trust. That's it. This is the last episode, yo. That's it. Okay, we're going to stop that. You told Rachel the truth 50 and... 50 50. Half the people didn't tell. <gasps> Snap. Snap. You killed the plant with neglect. I didn't even know I had a fucking plant. You accepted David's photograph. I did. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Yep. You visited the North at the hospital, of course. You didn't donate to the Firefighters Fund. I didn't know you could. You convinced Damon that Sheldon was the snitch. 49%. I wonder why everyone went Sheldon. Rachel didn't meet her mother. 73%. Oh, there was one where she could have met her mother. Oh. Jeez, I didn't know that. Hmm. This is a cool ending. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Nope. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe that. I, I seriously can't. Wow. That ending just left me speechless. I mean, I... <sighs> it's bad when you know something is going to happen. You know, these kind of games I should play in chronological order. Not release order. Um, look, never say never. But I'm going to say... That this is the end for the Life is Strange universe for me for a while I'm really glad I played Life is Strange I'm glad I played Before the Storm I won't be playing um, Life is Strange 2 and I won't be playing Life is Strange True Colors I think it's called um, anytime soon no disrespect to their stories I was really invested in the whole Chloe, Max, Rachel storyline this now that it's over um, I'm not really going to delve into the other ones yet. Um, got a pretty cool game coming up for you next week um, that we're going to start a new series on. But we might have a little break video in between. Have a bit of fun. I'm not sure yet. Um, I just want to say thank you everyone who's watched this series, who's helped me out, who's given advice, who's watched them and, and left feedback. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't watched them, it's all in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Please go. Well, if you're watching this, that's where you are. Go back, look at the playlist, go through all the episodes. Um, and then Life is Strange, you can continue that on from here. I've done that already. 
Um, so you can watch that whole entire series as well. Um, yeah, look, such a good game. Very good game. Uh, I just want to say thank you, everyone. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you can. If you want some live and fun entertainment, you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash the no good game, where I stream Thursday nights, uh, 7 p.m. Australian Western Standard Time and 7.45 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays, Australian Western Standard Time. And I do retro games, community games, and fun spooky games as well. Um, all sorts of games we play. Definitely get all the community involved as well. You can follow me on Instagram as well, uh, at The No Good Game. Thank you so much for watching this series. And I'll see you on the next one.